and I'm here today to do a little unboxing for you. I just received a package I've been expecting from my good friend, Mr. Jim Milligan of the New Egypt Folk String Instrument Company down in Tennessee, and I've been waiting for this one. Jim and I have been working on this project for a while where I sent him down a guitar that was not exactly functional. And I always wanted a oil can guitar. So I'm giving away the secrets here. But this is what it looks like. Came back today. I sent down a bunch of pieces to Jim and told him if he would be so kind as to add what was necessary and turn me out a guitar, I would appreciate it a great deal. Today I got this. And I'm real excited to open it up and see what Jim did with it. Looking pretty good so far. I think you can see it's definitely an oil can guitar. It's uh, quite nice. He's added a bunch of stuff that I sent, didn't send down to him, and I'll go over that in a few moments. But what I'm uh, gonna do right now is I'm going to stop the video for a moment. I'm going to get this tuned up. We're going to plug it into this 1950s amplifier that I've got back here, and we're going to see what it sounds like for y'all. How's that? Be right back. Okay, we're back. We've got her all tuned up and she's ready to go. I'll give you a little demonstration. Uh, quick word again about the guitar. Um, it's a project that uh, I had Jim Milligan at New Egypt Folk String Instrument Company build for me. We talked about an oil can guitar for a while and Jim finally uh, gave in and said, this is uh, what we're gonna do. And here it is today. It's my blaster, and uh, I'm real excited about it. Uh, it's um, equipped with a Telecaster setup, a solid tailpiece. It's got a three-way switch on it, a volume and a tone control. So it's just like a Tele would be. It's located up on the top here because you wouldn't want to be fiddling around on the bottom there. Jim also put a 24 fret neck in, which is really nice because it allows really good access to the high strings for playing leads and slides and things like that. So uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, great as far as that goes. We're going to give it a little test. Uh, it feels real comfortable. It's got good balance. Sits well. Sits on a strap well. I just tried that. And uh, we're going to play a little blues for you. Playing through a 1950s tube amp here. It's about 14 watts of power. Uh, and uh, it's a suitcase amp. So we'll see how this sounds. But uh, should break up just a little bit for us for blues. Let's go and try it out. This is the rhythm pickup coming up now. too and get some full sounds out of it I'm sure it's got some good sustain to it we're not using any foot pedals or anything like that it's just going straight through from the bottom right here into the amplifier so Pretty happy about that. And uh, as all the guitars we get from uh, New Egypt Folk String Instrument Company, it's set up and ready to go and just plays really smooth. The action is great on it. And I uh, just couldn't be happier with that part of it. It's just, uh, everything seems to be flowing right along. And uh, I'm always uh, an, an endorser of uh, Jim's instruments. Uh, behind so my four string hybrid, which uh, Jim worked with me to develop uh, this particular design is called the JP Williams model. It's got a bass string on it and three treble strings 
So uh, two outputs, one to a uh, stereo, two outputs, one to uh, a bass guitar amp and one to a regular guitar amp and amazing things you can do with that. I used both these instruments on my latest uh, CD, Everblue, uh, and recorded Cigar Box Boogie with this. And uh, Cigar Box Boogie was a, a song that hit number one on the uh, National Roots Music Report uh, back in May. And uh, if you get a chance, listen to it. The links will be down below. I uh, want to say thank you to Jim and uh, his lovely wife, Kate Milligan, for uh, providing me the opportunity to play this guitar. All the links for what we're talking about will be down below. You can subscribe to the channel here and get updates. You can uh, log on to the uh, website, nefsic.com, and also uh, find out more. We'll be at the uh, Pennsylvania Cigar Box Festival on August 24th, 2019. Uh, Jim and his wife will be there at their vendor booth, and I'll be joining them there on and off throughout the day, except when I'm playing on the main stage at 3 p.m. So come by, see us, say hello, and uh, if you're in the area, we'd love to talk some guitar with you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.